Hey YouTube, this is Gary with uh, GameStorm, and I'm answering a uh, question for uh, Michael B. of the Game Genius 200 subscriber uh, contest. And the question is, uh, what game got you back into gaming? So I kind of really, it's hard to question for me because I've never really stopped gaming. Uh, I'm a pretty old guy. I'm in my 40s. Uh, I've been gaming since, you know, before the Atari 2600. Like, I played Pong and all that. But, you know, I played Atari 2600. Then my first system I ever had was a ColecoVision. And I loved that. So I played that for quite a few years. Uh, then my next uh, video game system I got was a uh, after the video game crash, I was still playing my ColecoVision. I picked up a Commodore 64 and I played that pretty much all through the video game crash. I mean, there were a lot of great games for the Commodore 64. So then, you know, I got my first job and minimum wage here in the United States. It was only three thirty-five an hour and didn't have a lot of money, but the... Uh, Sega Master System and the uh, NES were out, and I had to choose between the two, and it was a pretty hard decision for me, but I chose the Sega Master System because from all of the um, screenshots on the boxes and stuff, the games had better graphics. So I picked that up, and eventually I got uh, two or three games for it. I know the two that I remember are uh, Afterburner and Outrun. And I think it came with Hang On and Astro Warrior. But uh, wasn't like, I mean, I, I had a lot of fun with it, but I wasn't really that impressed with it. I still played my Commodore 64 more than that. But when the Sega Genesis came out, that's what really sparked my interest back into gaming. Like, the graphics look like arcade graphics. And so. I saved up my money and picked up the Sega Genesis, and you know it came with Altered Beasts. That's because I got an older Sega Genesis when they very first came out in '89. But that game, I mean, it's pretty fun. But the game, the the second game that I picked up when I bought my Genesis was Ghouls and Ghosts, and this game really was a fantastic game. It still is a fantastic game. Uh, but yeah, it, it's pretty difficult. It took me quite a while to beat, especially knowing when you get to the end and you find out you got to go through the whole game again to uh, finish it. But yeah, the Ghouls and Ghosts is the uh, the game that really got me back into hardcore gaming. Uh, congratulations on your 200 subscribers, Michael B. And this has been uh, Gary with GameStorm. Thanks for watching.